All right, guys, real quick, I just want to get you guys updated on the white car. Last time you saw this thing, it didn't have like fenders, doors, you know, a lot of interior pieces missing, stuff like that. But, you know, now she's all together. Um, I wanted to show you guys like step by step, like what I did or how I painted this car. But like I said, my footage all got screwed up. So I'm just going to get everyone caught up to where we're at right now and I'll move forward. But the car is coming together. You know, she is a drivable car now all except for the rear brakes i didn't remember because it's been so long ago but when i put these brakes on from the crash car the pad material fell off um so there's still the metal part of the pad there but the pad material just fell completely off and you can see just from where we had it tuned and the little bit of driving i did it's kind of eating up that rotor but like i said i have the weld on dual rear caliper brackets another set of calipers so in the next video of this car, we'll probably get those put on. I just got to get the brake calipers painted and all that good stuff and disassemble the whole part of the car. <laughs> but she is looking pretty good. Last video of the car, you know, y'all saw we had got seats in there. The interior turned out freaking perfect. Like I just went through and like painted all the little trim pieces. I still have to do the, uh, the center part right there just so it um it matches and get get rid of that plastic dip but she's looking pretty good i'm also gonna put the badges on in this video i've already done the front bumper but i'm not gonna put the front bumper on until i get the oil cooler and power steering cooler on you know that'll be another video and stuff but i reused a set of old headlights that i had laying around i just sanded them down and cleared them they're far from perfect but I'd like to buy the other, you know, the headlights I want later. They're like 500 bucks. So I can't justify that right now. So if they work, we're going to use them. <laughs> like I said, I got those, got my ender fenders in everything. Um, I'll show you guys on the front. Like I did some fancy stuff, kind of rib nutted everything um, to get rid of the little plastic clips that, you know, the, uh, the factory used, even on the back of the side skirt and everything. Go ahead, pop the hood and everything. I think I got the key with me. Yeah, I'm like super pumped because like both cars were side impacts, the car that I got all these parts from. So I managed to get like two decent door panels. So in love with the interior of this car. Looks so good. Let's get the, the entry real quick. Well, there she is. Still got to put all the... Uh, the under like the rain valley cover and all that stuff on but from when it was ls i still have like some holes in the firewall that i need to um i wasn't gonna go to the headache of welding that's like some uh, metal soundproof stuff whatever behind that but i want to put like some white silicone on the front of that just just in case you can see like one of the or maybe you can't can't i can't tell but yeah, you can kind of barely see one of the rib nuts sticking through right there. It looks better than those plastic clips, even though you're not going to see that. <laughs> but I also had like footage of me driving all the way to like Orange County, Florida to get this whole entire front clip, like 900 bucks for like uh, the core support, the headlight brackets, um, radiator reservoir, which like I said, put aluminum radiator in there here anyway, because I want this thing to be able to it's a hot lap and actually live, so. But those, uh, those Z1 intakes will probably end up on the new car because the, uh, the guy that tuned this thing at Z1, um, you know, planted a little seed in my brain and you know how that goes. He was like, it probably would have made more power if you had three inch intakes. And that's just been like rattling around in my mind <laughs> ever since he said it. I was like, dude, I didn't know. I just bought the race intakes y'all had because I figured race car, race parts. Stupid. Should have done a little bit of research. I didn't even know they were three inch intakes. So I just like, or the intakes I had were three inch. I didn't know they were like smaller intakes. <laughs> but anyway, so I probably ended up picking up some three inch intakes and putting those on the, uh, the other 350Z. So let's see if we can get in this thing real quick. Let's see if we gotta buy those little do that little hatch trick because my sh little poppers don't really work that well but got the back of the car pretty much 
fully reassembled. I just haven't put my carpet and stuff back in. I'm trying to make something that will hold like this, this will be flat and get rid of like this big cavity so I can like, the carpet will lay flat. But we got the little, my uh, coilover adjuster sticking through nicely, not laying all over. Hate the glass people did such a bad job. Like the hatch is not even want to open all the way because it's like getting hung on the seal. You can see it right there. It's like tearing it off as we speak. So it is what it is. Paid a lot of money for them to come out here and do the glass and that's what I get. It's fucking sticking to my paint and everything else. I swear. Let's go ahead and go ahead and remove this trash. So It's like $600 to have them come out here and <laughs> do a horrible job. So, freaking get all that goop crap off my freshly painted car. That, that's why I'm so weird. Like, I, I, I hate paying people to do stuff to my car. Like, why is there, why was that two pieces? That should have just been like one continuous piece, not two pieces, bro. It's like you walked around a shop and found like, two little pieces of scrap and was like oh this is good enough freaking shameful should have just done it myself but i just had to buy a new front windshield anyway and since these a-pillar covers are like known for breaking i was like i don't want to put them you know use an old glass that's pitted and stuff so it is what it is i'm not going to like make this video and be complaining about someone doing a horrible job but the old z's finally coming together so I'm gonna go grab that stuff I was telling you, like the stuff I got for the badges, and we'll go ahead and like glue one of those on there. And like I said, the next video, I'll get my oil cooler and power steering cooler on, and we put the bumper on, and then maybe after that we'll do those brakes. Been putting putting that off because it's just gonna be a headache to like take the car complete, you know, take the front and rear brake calipers off and paint them and all that stuff. But no sense complaining about it. Might as well get it done. But one of these videos <laughs> yeah this is like the stuff i picked up i just got it from o'reilly's it was like 20 bucks for this tube um i've already used this on the front bumper for the badge it's a little thinner than i would like i mean you don't know, like stuff that's like you know i guess the panel is like if the fenders were on the bench it wouldn't matter because it would just not run down your fender so i'm like terrified i'm gonna put too much of this and it's gonna like run down the fender and just be a hot mess so <laughs> And also terrified I'm not gonna put enough and it's not gonna actually stick to the car. But the only thing I've done to actually prepare for this was just, I took I took a little bit of sandpaper and just like sanded, you know, the center surface right here because, you know, I want this glue stuff, whatever, to actually adhere and um, actually stick in there, so. And my badges are really dusty because <laughs> they've been like sitting on top of my TV. But I just basically took the factory badges and scuffed them up and like, you know, painted them black. So, like I said, drift car, it ain't gotta be fancy. And you can really see like the pop marks in my freaking. The paint is not perfect. It probably looks pretty good on like, um, on camera and everything, but it's definitely not perfect. So, a lot of my friends don't think I'm actually gonna drive this thing on track, but I am, I promise. The main thing I was worried about was like the door jams because like I said, I'm gonna probably have this car wrapped. But anyway, I'm gonna sit you guys down and like goop a little bit of this on here and we'll stick it on there and hopefully, I'm hoping that the sun will dry it before it runs down <laughs> my fender. I'm gonna be really bummed if that happens. But let's see if this stuff will actually work. All right, I'm sure some of you probably already seen this coming. Of course it ran down my fender, so <laughs> I, uh, Ran and grabbed some mineral spirits and wiped it off before it you know, messed it up. It's like a little bit of glue residue right there. Um, kind of saw that coming. And you might be thinking, why not? Why don't you use double-sided sticky tape? Um, one, I never have any luck with double-sided sticky tape. So I just figured I would glue them on there. And I should have got... I should have got the same... I should have got the same stuff I used to hold my FD uh, fender vents on. But um, I figured I would try this just because it says that it's four badges and trim pieces. But, you know, 3M, what are you thinking? Why is this stuff so runny? Jeez, guys. It's like so hard to find good product and 
good help these days, isn't it? Jeez. Got goo on my fenders, goo on my window. Look at that. That's what $700 gets you from a glass company. Look at that. Hmm. I told you, I said we're gonna make this video about me complaining, but look at me. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go glue the other side on but maybe I should have put the glue on there and like let it thicken a little bit first oh well. it already looks way better just having that badge glued on there I just hope it stays on there and like I said I already got the one on the front bumper done I'm not gonna do the back bumper yet because I want to buff the car because like this paint right here is like really really rough um, when I was doing the paint job on it i got like three coats on there and it was getting dark and i was like i'm gonna do one more coat and then i did one more coat went in and like i said it got really really cold so the paint kind of got a little chalky looking but still not too bad i just don't want to glue that badge on there and then not be able to buff behind the badge so i'm gonna wait and plus i gotta clean all these dirty hands off from uh the glass guys so i gotta do that first Look, tore my seal right there. Jeez. But the driver's side went a little bit better because I learned from my mistake from the passenger side. So I did the passenger first. That would <laughs> if it turned out looking horrible, I wouldn't have to see it every time I approach the car. So <laughs> but boom. So it on there pretty good. And like man, anytime I get like close up to my paint, I'm like, man, it's like really jacked. But it is what it is, guys. Like I said, it's it's a it's a seat time car, drift car, whatever. But so we get the emblems on there that already makes the car look this is the first time this car has had badges on it since i've owned it so but before the weekend i'll have the the cooler zone with the front bumper and you know this thing will be ready to go so with the brakes and everything so i'll probably do those in separate videos i'll do the oil cooler and power steering cooler uh, in the next video and the video after that like i said i'll get the rear brakes on there and everything and then i'll do you know we'll take this thing for a road trip you know maybe a drift event so <laughs> But for now, that's it. I just wanted to get you guys caught up with the car because um, it's coming together pretty good. And like I said, I've been really slack on uh, actually recording and showing you guys the process. But from a bare shell to this right here, I think is pretty cool, uh, especially doing it out here in the yard. So but anyway, guys, I appreciate the support and we'll see you on the next one.